Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure brings me to Lou Gardens in Orlando, Florida. Drinking a little coffee to start the day. Where they are having an event by the name of Dinosaur Invasion. Which they have every year, I believe, but each annual progression of this, you know, has different dinosaurs that appear and it, it's ever changing and it's very beautiful. The property is very beautiful. You have to go through here, which is not only the gift shop, but the ticket center. And then you go into an expansive area and see some prehistoric creatures in the wild. Some of them you have to search for. It's almost like, like a scavenger hunt or something of that nature. Just check it out. I'm inviting you to join me. That's good. Got my hat on too, just for some protective from the Central Florida sun. Didn't bring my umbrella, forgot my umbrella. I'm inviting you to join me, shall you? Oh, I hear some, oh, there's a bird chirping. But I also hear someone else in the distance. Also, these are required. Now that I'm finishing my coffee, I'll be able to put this on. Hear the bird chirping? Yeah. It's, it's beckoning us. It's beckoning. We're coming, birdie. Get up there though, that's the thing. Yeah, it's Jackie super enthused. Hey. She has you are gonna you are gonna go on a mission to find some dinos. Oh yeah, let's go get that dino. Oh I saw see <laughs> You knew well, it was coming. This isn't the animal kingdom. <laughs> but you know we can pretend it is. We'll pretend. I love this. Yeah, that's nice. Beautiful songbird. Wow. Are we both Listening to the bird song, Adam? Yeah. Have you ever been here before? Adam, I've never been here. You never? It's the first time. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's do it. Look at this beautiful house. Look at the little footprints down here. Just wait here. You'd oh, be waiting a long time. Wait. You probably should just go in. Yeah, maybe there's no one waiting. This will be continuing and going on through April 18th of this year. Good morning. It's already been going on for quite a while, but I'm just now getting around to we're checking it out. The good thing is, I got a got a trusty map here that's gonna kind of be our guide. They're back. <laughs> well, we wonder if there'd be like a, a T Rex in this room. This room is very empty. Oh, this overlooks a, a lake area, a pond out here. There's some artwork on the walls. I thought there was someone else in here, but it's just the echo. Hello. Yeah, very echoey. A lot of echo in here. This is beautiful across this lake here. I think we gotta go. Do we go out this way? Or no, we go back out that way. That's true. I keep asking you, but you've never been here. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Also, I'm really bad at reading maps, so. You are? Counting on you to. I got, my, I got a map get right us here. Around. All right. I just kept it as a keepsake. Little souvenir. Well. All right, our first clue here. And don't fret, don't fret. If these things start to charge, it will be documented because there are some cameras in use. So if this creature, he probably won't. he's friendly though. He looks friendly. There are over 20 life-size dinos ranging in size from 14 inches to a massive 33 feet. That's what I'm talking about. The creator was Guy. Daro. He's a well-respected, accomplished fossil expert for over 40 years. Just to give a little perspective, the Garden House, the Welcome Center, we purchased the tickets. I don't even, did you even pay attention to how much it was? No, not at all. I think it was under $10. That's very reasonable. I don't even for remember. Dinosaurs, I was so excited. I was like, take the money. So, take my money, yeah. T-Rex. I think it was like 10 bucks, 8 bucks. Very reasonable. I should probably look it up before stating this. Nonetheless, we started over here at the Welcome Center and we are going to make our way over to number one and then we're going to tuck away into this little alcove. So we've got one, two, and then we're just going to follow it around into a circle. Are you looking it up or are you? No, I'm eating a Ricola. Just check the receipt. Price was $10 for admission and there was no, they didn't charge any tax on there. Just $10 flat rate. Not bad. Not bad for a day of fun. 
I'm in the shadow. Can you see me? Yeah, it's a little better. With the hat, it's silhouetted and the covering and the glasses. I'm almost like incognito. I'm in disguise. No one's gonna, none of the dinos are gonna recognize me. Blankets are not permitted. No blankets. I better take the blankets I brought back to the car. Well, I was like thinking if, if a triceratops wants to have a little picnic, he's out of luck. Gas, yeah. He's out of luck, yeah. This is all reminds me of Jurassic Park. Yeah, very reminiscent. Right there. It doesn't say the words, obviously. There's probably a, a copyright issue with that, but very similar. The structure itself. It's palm trees. And that majestic tree behind it there. I know you're thinking, get out of the way. I just want to take a selfie. That's exactly <laughs> what you say. I already see I you got the. Know me. I know you too it's well. Not, no, I just want to take a picture. No, of no, no, no. You're about to take a selfie. Fine. See? Nailed it. Did, was that so hard? Tropical Stream Garden. It's the statement on the map standing on this bridge here, kind of overlooking. Gonna continue this way into a little section. Oh, oh, way down here. Look. Dinosaurs. We see our first ones. <laughs> What's the noise I picture they make? That's pretty neat. That is really beautiful. Do you know what those are? Um, they have wings. They have feathered wings. I would say raptor because that's like, you know, one of the three dinosaurs I know. Yeah, let's look at our sheet. Now they have numbers here on here. So this is the number one. But there's also a guide here. So these oh, are on the back. Bambi raptors. Bambi raptors? Bambi. That's a Bamba raptor? How would you pronounce that? Bambi raptor. Yeah, right? Interesting. Okay. Bambi raptor. And it's right next to this bamboo stand. So Bambi and bamboo. Bamboo raptor. Maybe that's what it is. You know what that what it might be. Yeah. I'm thinking Bambi like the Disney film. That's yeah. what when I think of Bambi. Mm-hmm. And when they're talking to other trees. It might make <laughs> it might make a little more sense just to look at the I was actually more fun to like figure it out ourselves, I think. Yeah. Bambi Thief. Oh, look, named after the Disney character. Oh. Bambi. Oh Their my diet. Gosh. It's not a specific diet, it's just, just carnivore. It's just carnivore. That's pretty much me in a nutshell. <laughs> We're just carrying on through here through, through the bamboo. I really like bamboo. Oh, people have etched. Yeah. People have etched their letters. And names into it there. We're going deeper into the jungle. Oh, we're going back over this little river here. A different section of it. We almost did a loop. Kind of kind of cut through that section there. Now this wasn't what I had in mind, but I guess technically this would be. That looks so real. Oh my gosh. What? It's not real? Doesn't that look real? That it is the most... legit like it's about to blink. That most looks like the most re realistic <laughs> crocodile I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, no joke. That If if you took that prop and laid it in someone's yard... They'd scream and they would. Uh, that would be the least thing they would do. They would probably do... Yeah, I wouldn't. I would not be happy. So please do not touch. Do not worry. I'm not <laughs> that is a great... Yeah, it's really, really well done. Very realistic. Like the skin and everything, the teeth. Look at the eyes. You want to take a chance and see if it's real? This tree is a a silk tree, a floss silk tree. It has all these almost like thorn looking items on its bark. Very unique. Now I've seen these before, but I never realized what type of a tree it was. A silk tree. Isn't that neat? I mean, I guess the cliche thing would be an Allosaurus. You could say his name is Al. You can call him Al. Just don't call him Eddie. You can call him. You can call the other guy Eddie, but don't call him Al. Is that what how the song goes? You could be his bodyguard. Or his long lost pal. That look on the face there. I don't. I don't think the joke went over too well. That is kind of a look of disgust. <laughs> He's like, great joke, guys. Just stay away from my babies. The the youth down here, though. They like it. They're saying, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Hmm. Never heard that saying. Song, no, it's not. I hear that every day, all day. <laughs> Look how big an owl. Four, three, 
And this is something you don't really think about, but everyone thinks of dinos being Jurassic. You don't ever hear the thing, welcome to Terminian Park. <laughs> Right? No, you don't hear. That could be like a prequel. Welcome to Cretaceous Park. It could be a prequel. Park. Yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm jotting that down for posterity. Welcome to Cineozac era. This little planter here has feet right at the bottom. See, there's like some feet there on that planter. It's got his feet planted. Firmly planted. Oh, we got a, got a golf cart coming through. This is the the herb garden right over in here. Hello. Hello. Supposedly there is. Whoa! And quickly. There is a prehistoric bone out here. Where is it? The Apatosaurus would eat up to 800 pounds of plants a day. And they'd swallow rocks to help grind up their food. And I don't know that on my own. It's, it's written right here. That's, that's how. I think that's so interesting that they would eat rocks. I've heard of people kicking rocks. When you no. say kick rocks. Right. Telling people to get lost. Of that. Maybe when this dinosaur was eating their plants and didn't want to be bothered, it'd say, kick rocks, I'm eating rocks. I bet they did say that. And here are a couple that are have a little nest going on. Some of the eggs there almost looks like a little miniature volcano where those eggs are kind of planted down in there. Yeah, they're just like guarding over their nest. Yeah, really there's a lot of excitement. A lot of people running over to see this. There's a lot of hype behind this one. <laughs> There's an awful lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. See? Bima. The hype see Bima. See, hype, hype, see, Bima. Okay. It was a long way to go for a bad joke. This is really, really good. <laughs> One interesting thing about this, it was one of the last ones before people. Because if you look here in the in the crustaceous section is the hypsebema and then the extinction and then progress along and then people. So Does this face not look like a little bit Jar Jar Binksy. Kinda, yeah. Like look at his like mouth. Like a little bit, right? I think he's very happy that you stated that. I'm so sorry. He doesn't want to be Please compared to Jar Jar. Me. He is not hype about me saying that. He's more of a Kylo fan. He does look a little brooding. There's a squirrel back there, burrowing. Right over there, a burrowing squirrel. Not a burrowing owl, which is a real thing, but a burrowing squirrel. Could walk on two legs, almost like a human ran on two legs when was being pursued which would be quite a sight to see this thing scurrying along on two yeah. legs you see its front legs are like small so it would lift them up yeah that would be a sight to see yeah it's just interesting that they chose to portray it laying down and not running yeah that's something i never knew i never i never realized that yeah. they would run on on two legs as opposed to kind of sprinting on the four, run faster on the two legs. Got a nice little shade spot here. Yeah. Next up is a Parasaura lophus. And this is another herbivore. It's like a tree eater, right? Yeah. And so they would have to run from predators on two legs. This map really does, really does come in handy. Would have been able to find my way around here without this. This is very helpful, right? Oh yeah, the map is very helpful. We would be running around like a dinosaur with its head cut off without it. You realize when you said that, there's a dinosaur back there. Who might I have, don't think they appreciate our Might jokes. have some friends Yeah. With, that had their heads cut off. Passing by this very beautiful courtyard here. In a lot of ways, this kind of reminds me of the LA Arboretum. Kind of same, same type of place, but just here. 
in the Orlando area on the East Coast. And it reminds me of Fairchild Tropical Garden in Miami. In Miami. A similar type of thing also. This is Mary Jane's Rose Garden. I love this plaque. I saw it from afar and I was just drawn to come and see what it was. Oh, oh, yep, here's another. Oh, this one's a scary one. But serious. Got the, got the, the sharp teeth there, the, almost like fangs. Look at that mouth. Now this would probably be a meat eater. Should maybe go walk back over there and look. Here, I'll tell ya. See what it says. It says herbivore. Herbivore? Really? Yeah, look at those. That That's surprising. It's for eating plants. That's very surprising. Got a powerful neck, strong legs, and barrel shaped body. It's not a dinosaur, but a mammal like reptilian due to its beak like mouth and tusks. Tusks, that's the word I was looking for. I was thinking that too. I Not was like, fangs, that tusks. Is something. Those are tusks. Very impressive. Tusks and claws he's got. He's got claws? Well, oh yeah. I would say those are claws. He's standing on a brick. Yeah, he's got some bricks. He's a brick. Here's a little side note. If you've ever seen the film Problem Child 2 with John Ritter, uh -huh. where Junior fell asleep right up here. Oh. And the love rock, they called it, Oh. It was right here in the center of this. If you've ever seen the movie, Problem Child 2, John Ritter walked right down this path. I believe it is. Don't quote me on this. It's been a while. We're quoting you. But down here, parked the vehicle, walked up here, saw Junior slumbering, and the love rock was a prop. It was placed right here in the middle of this section. Problem Child 2, and the way you can find it when you're out here at Lou Gardens, is look for the floral arrangement right there on the center of that hill. Follow the path up, and this is where the Love Rock prop was placed. Yeah, a little, little John Ritter movie history here in Central Florida. Just in case anyone was interested. Oh, it's up there on the side of the tree. Oh, there, there's a bunch of them up there on the side of the tree. That Ooh. one's kind of silhouetted, silhouetted out by the shade, but there's a few others up here which is just right next to where the, the Love Rock from Problem Child 2 was, right here on the side of this tree, climbing up. The pathway on the map leads this direction. However, there is an obstacle here, a sprinkler system. So we're gonna have to either go through the sprinkler or wait it out. Okay, it appears to be going this way. I think we got this. We just gotta wait. Now, is it gonna go this way and then shift back? <laughs> no! Or, I'm going for it. I just see some guests go this way. I'm going for it. No, no, I'm, oh, oh, I'm going this way. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay. You got this? <laughs> go, go, go. I made it. Success. Ooh. If I was a palm, this would be me, right here. If I was a palm. This one needs needs no introduction. The Velociraptor. He looks so teeny and tiny, but he can pack a punch. He's got the one face. Got the one claw up there. He's giving it a big claw up. He's giving it a he's letting me know. He cares. Give it a big thumbs up. That's what you do. That's definitely what he's doing. Yeah. He's giving he it a cares. big thumbs up. I do really like the vibe through here. Very peaceful, very beautiful. Even without the event, it is worth, oh, worth, oh. worth checking out. That is right there next to the bamboo. Ooh, wow. That is a, a daspletosaur? A daspletosaur? D-A-S-P-L-E-T-O-S-O-R. Carnivore. Look at that thing! The meaning of the name? Frightful lizard. Accurate. Apt. That thing is awesome. I have a look of fear on my face. I should get the map in here. Just so. That's a good one. That's a little little photo opportunity there. The map. I like it. It's good, right? I'm proud of you. Does that, that look startled? Let me see. Hold on. You look very startled. But let's see if I can be more startled. I think you can. 
I did a gasp to like make you it did it. You listen. gasped at it. <gasps> if you if I didn't have a mask on, you could see my extremely startled face. But we've got to emote through our eyes. You can see it in your eyes. Good one. So fearful. Yeah, you think of the the, the T Rex. Yeah, everybody knows T Rex. But in reality. I He's, guess the reason the Spletosaur doesn't get as much love as a T-Rex is just his name is hard to say. It, he could like, be the he could be the D-Sor. The D-Sor. The D-Sor. The D-Rex. The D-Rex. I like it. I think he likes being the 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 silent, yeah. stealthy. Yeah, he's like, don't tell everyone about me. See, that way I can sneak up. Looks like he's dancing. Right there, he's on the one foot, doing the little uh, little dance. Let's see, if we can do the Spletosaur dance. That was good. Yeah, thank you. Look how the the leaves are falling next to the bamboo. This is good. This is real good. Taking another selfie? Oh yeah. Watch out for the golf cart coming through though. Very fascinating, these, these pines. Take a look there, the way the, the root system is. Thatch, pines, sausage tree. Like, the only thing I'm seeing that resembles close to that is up top. Now, where's you the can sausages? see one of the sausages. Where? Oh, I see it. Right up there, just kind of dangling. It looks more like a potato. Yeah, I, I thought it was a potato too. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's only one little sausage oh you know what there's a whole bunch more up top one potato, all the way potatoes. up top oh i see the potatoes now yeah oh yeah a bunch of them well they're sausages well i'm gonna call them potatoes. oh there's another one over there a sausage tree if my father was here you know what i'd say right what i would say daddy would you like some sausage daddy would you like some sausages Also some prehistoric plants, so not just animals, but, but also some plants through here. Oh, a butterfly just went by. A butterfly just went by. Where is another one in here? Is it going to be kind of lurking over here or is it in the hiding in the shadows? I don't see if the sun glare on that is very strong. Oh, right over here. Okay, right over here. What are they? Angel trumpets. Yeah, look at these are beautiful. Yeah, aren't they? Golly. Okay, next dinosaur though. Well, they're right over here. Oh, oh, tiny little buggers, huh? Next to the little berries there. Oh. Berries. Probably shouldn't eat those. No. Might have an end of the wild moment. Yeah, or a blue lagoon moment. Because the lagoon's over there? Yeah. Is that why you said that? That's exactly why I said that. Not because they eat them at the end of the movie and spoiler alert. Look at the eyes, though. Let me zoom in on the eyes. These are omnivores. They eat everything. What do they do? About 20 uh, inches tall. Eight Look at those. They're eating. Dinosaurs have cheeks to keep the food in their mouth. Little cheeks. Just hanging out. Little cheeky. Yeah, they do have very googly eyes. Yeah, My mom used to always there. say, "Don't just don't just stand there like a knot on a log." Well, they're on a log. Oh. So now I understand what she was going for. That saying, yeah. they're just standing around like a knot on a log. Mm -hmm. There's another little one right over here on this root system of this tree. 
It's just, I think it's just the one panning out. My favorite part is the meanings of their names. So this one is Elegant Jaw. Look at how elegant his little jaw is. And then over here we have some, some cypress knees. So you got cypress trees down there in the water. But on shore are cypress knees, which are the, because they look like little knees. Yeah, I always like to point out cypress knees. And of course, cypress trees, a very prominent cypress tree right there off the shoreline. And some very majestic ones over there on that other shore. Look at that. Oh, cypress knees? Yeah. Beautiful cypress trees and lily pads. It's a this nice, is like my favorite kind of like Florida. It's a nice vibe natural, here. Right? Yeah. Area. There used to be a cypress knee museum down towards South Florida. It's a, sitting there abandoned in the woods. Oh my gosh, I never heard of that. Yeah. True story. Oh, totally gone to that. A little river down here, but up here is a small waterfall where the water is and it's going from. There's a boardwalk area. Well, it's more kind of an, like a wooden overlook with a vestibule. Probably some alligators. Maybe we'll see a gator or two, like a real one, not a prop. Oh wow, you can see some of the skyline off in the distance too. Well, over here are some homes, but you can see part of the skyline. Some lily pads. Yeah, there's definitely some gators in here. You out there, gators? I don't see any. Oh, there's some fish. Some fish down there. Oh, there's a bunch of fish. Look. Look over here. You can see a bunch of fish down there in the water. Get a little closer. Hmm. Hi, fishies. Oh, yeah, there's a turtle right there under the water. Turtle swimming around down there towards the fishies. Yeah, see the turtle? just about a couple inches under the water over just to the side there I see him swimming around He's amongst all the fishies it's kind of like he's waiting for something to drop right I think all these fish are waiting for some treats yeah they are and some food items <laughs> I bet people drop Oh, I see you there. I see you there perched in that little tiny cypress knee lizard. I see you. I almost walked past. There's another little lizard up there pretending to be a gator. The top corner of that sign. Doesn't say don't feed the litters, li litters. Don't <laughs> feed the lizards. <laughs> He's like, eh? If I littered food though, that lizard would snatch it up and devour it. So you could maybe technically, if you had food, feed the lizards. Yeah. As long as it's not an alligator, which is a lizard. So it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you scared him. Star he scared me more than you I scared him. You startled him. Dang. Right off the wooden overlook is number 14 which is missing. I believe maybe they, number 14 does not exist. Maybe there's a relic yeah, we're, we're through here. Like, oh, right here, look. You found them? Well, there's a sign piece. Here, let's see. Right there. Oh, just like a, a sign holder. But... Yeah, huh. where number 14 should be. 14, the so 14 should be right where the sign is. So. Yeah, it should be like right there. That dino has taken the sign and ran off into the into the woods. It's always a danger when working with dinos. Yeah. That they're gonna do there's something only, like that. There's only one more left. Okay. Number fifteen. And then that's it. Then we're done. Let me just point out how, how beautiful these look through here. Are there arrows on the ground? Directional arrows? Oh yeah, but they're just kinda like this is going one. both directions though. And this one's this way. Yeah, so not very helpful. No real correlation. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. Here's number 15, the last one, the final one. The post-asuchos. 
The Posta Suchus? Posta Suchus. Posta Suchus. Fun fact, it's named for the Post Quarry in Texas, where it and many fossils of this type of the species were found. Ooh, related to the modern day crocodile. But where is it? Where is it? There it is! Oh, right there. I found it. It's very, very small. The sign makes it look like it's going to be huge. I mean, that thing's probably seven feet long. It kind of does look like a crocodile, like when they stand up and their legs are stretched yeah. out, right? That is, that is I mean, very, a lot scarier of a mouth. Very noticeable creature here. <laughs> very this orange. Is not, not very hidden. Yeah. Oh, look, here's some little thorns here on the side of this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Match him. He's almost got some thorns there on the side. Yeah. Before heading out, I'm going to do a little tour. They do them every half hour of this homestead and one's about to begin so gonna go on the porch and and wait for the guide and take a look at a little history here at Lou Gardens back in 1888 on the National Register I, I, so, um, we'll get started in just a minute, but let's we'll see how many more are here. Four more that are going to join us. To have his house and his property um, be with the city of Orlando, but he made some very strong restrictions, like it could never be subdivided into different houses or have commercial things. So this person that came to you with a catalog, you know, oops, and, um, that's how you ordered the parts and things that you needed. So my mother worked in an office with a lot of other ladies, lots of typewriters, typing up invoices, and she said when Mr. Lou would come over, he was always so nice to them because he loved camellias. He would bring them flowers, camellias. Oh, and, uh, There's Mr. and Mrs. Lou right there. Here's some of their little souvenirs they got from their travels. <laughs> And I'm not allowed to go upstairs, but they are picturing what the upstairs looks like here on this little board. I'm not allowed upstairs, but at least we can do a little walkthrough of the downstairs area here with the dining table. Can you imagine ironing your clothes with this very thing? Oh, cast iron. Cast iron. Yeah. Cast iron. Yeah. Cast iron. Yeah. Cast iron. So this oven would get hot. Ooh, look at that. You would put this on it's here. Spinning wheel. And you're going to take like a, a full working kitchen. Look at this. It's weighted, it's heat, but it's the weight oh, on that thing that the bugs out. Oh, um, it's like a, okay. I'm not 100% sure, to what? tell you the truth. This one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's a pestle. And the motor oh, to grind it up. Yeah. But, but uh, that would be a big, uh, or a big um, motor. Yeah. But like, that is a pestle. Uh, okay. um, one of my favorite things here is like whenever the Woodwards were here with the early days of electricity, they did add electricity I'm to this I'm going to point house. this out that she was mentioning. This is a toaster. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Look at this. That's wonderful. Okay. Bell. <laughs> yeah, like an old school bell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Very little cool. pieces of cake, a giant wedge of cheese. Yeah, that would make that was something Steve Irvel would approve of. All right, that's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop up to date on future uploads here on this channel. If you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. Yep. Let's me know. You can. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. So, I'm not going to stay.